Hey everybody and welcome to the Lion's Den News tutorial on how to properly light a green screen. Well, there are a few key elements that I think you need as a minimum for lighting a green screen. When I first started YouTubing, I used a green screen like this. It's just a piece of fabric stretched across an old screen door. All in all, the whole thing was maybe $12. And to that, I used simple garage floodlights, which I found at a hardware store for $6 a piece on sale. So the whole project with two of these floodlights was less than $25. Since then, I've gotten an entry level set to make the green screen effect and I have to say it's been a very great success, but I use the same principles whether it's this setup or that setup. So by now I bet you're wondering, what are those principles? Well, let's get started. There are really two things that are important to lighting your green screen properly, are to have an even surface and to have even color. To have an even surface, you want to have it stretched out, like you saw with my old green screen, I had it stretched over an old screen door. With this green screen, I've got it secured with clamps on all the sides. This gives a flat surface to work with and lets your light splash across it evenly. Now, to get the even color, you need at least two lights. I started with two garage floodlights and it gave me more than enough light for the small green screen I was working with. But in an ideal setup, you have a three light minimum. Those three lights are used for three purposes. First light is your center light. It should be in front of the subject and light them from the front. I also like to position it to splash a little bit of additional light on the back if possible. Now your second light is your fill light. You want to use that to light up as much of the green screen in an even tone as possible. In general, the optimum way to do that is to have it at a 15 degree angle to the green screen so that the light spreads across the entire green screen. Last but not least is your backlight. You want to place that on the floor behind your subject. The purpose of this light is to eliminate any splash from the green screen onto the back of your subject, which gives you that green halo. So your backlight will prevent that halo from appearing around your subject because it will wash out all of those green light rays. Now one thing that's important to keep in mind is the color you're wearing when you're recording in front of green screen. As you see here, I'm wearing a red shirt today, and I like to wear red a lot of the times in front of a green screen because it's the exact opposite of green, so it never gets picked up by the color spectrum when you're chroma keying. If you wear colors that are similar in hue to green or white, you may get some splash over, and you can start canceling yourself out instead of the background. A lot of it is just trial and error. Rearrange your lights, rearrange your setup, until you get something that works right for you. So whether your budget is $25 or $150 or beyond, you can light your green screen easily with just these principles. Feel free to ask any questions about my green screen setup and how I can help you get a good green screen setup in the comments below and I will be sure to answer all of them. Make sure to tune in every Friday for my show, The Lion's Share, where I interview the best people on YouTube. Thanks for watching everybody, take care, and may you always have peace and love. Classic.